Advisory. Distinguished is not intended for all audiences. The following stories are true and may contain details that some find disturbing. Listener and viewer discretion is advised. Next on Distinguished, we honor the legacy of Corporal Charles Joseph Berry. Charles Joseph Berry was born in Lorain, Ohio, on July 10, 1923. He enlisted in the United States Marine Corps in Cleveland, Ohio, on October 1, 1941 when he was 18 years old. During World War II, he landed on Iwo Jima on D-Day, February 19, 1945. On March 3, 1945, Berry maintained a vigilant stance alongside his fellow gun crew during the perilous nighttime hours, remaining prepared at his weapon. Amidst this darkness, Japanese forces launched an unexpected attack, catching Berry by surprise as he manned a foxhole. The assault brought forth a barrage of live grenades, descending upon him and his comrades in the foxhole. Undaunted, he exhibited remarkable courage, swiftly returning the grenades one after another. However, as one grenade landed beyond his reach, Berry faced a critical moment. In a display of unselfish determination and a commitment to his fellow soldiers, Berry made an instantaneous decision. Without hesitation, he chose to jump onto the live grenade, absorbing the explosive impact within his own body. His selfless act of bravery shielded his comrades from severe harm and undoubtedly saved their lives. Charles Berry made the ultimate sacrifice and was killed in action on March 3, 1945 at the age of 21. Originally laid to rest in the 5th Marine Division Cemetery on Iwo Jima, Berry's remains were later relocated to Elmwood Cemetery in Lorain, Ohio, in 1948. In recognition of his exceptional valor, Berry was posthumously bestowed with the Medal of Honor, Purple Heart, Presidential Unit Citation, American Defense Service Medal, American Campaign Medal, Asiatic Pacific Campaign Medal with two bronze stars, and the World War II Victory Medal. In a lasting tribute, the Erie Avenue Bridge located in Lorain, Ohio, underwent a renaming in 1988 to become the Charles Berry Bridge, serving as a memorial to Corporal Berry's courage. Additionally, the destroyer escort USS Charles Berry was christened in his honor, further immortalizing his legacy. Thank you for joining us on this incredible journey through the stories and lives of military heroes. We hope you've been inspired and moved by their courage and sacrifice. We can't do this without your support. If you've enjoyed this podcast, we kindly ask that you continue to support us by spreading the word. Leaving a positive rating and review on your favorite podcast platform will help others discover these remarkable stories. Don't forget to like and share our episodes on social media. Your personal recommendation can make a significant impact. By sharing these stories, you play a vital role in honoring the bravery of our military heroes and ensuring their legacies live on. Together, let's continue to shine a light on the incredible men and women who have served and protected our nation.